Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So in this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily change a widescreen video over to a vertical video. So then you can use it for other platforms like TikTok, Instagram, or even to produce YouTube shorts. So basically any other social media platform that requires a vertical video. Now DaVinci Resolve does provide a feature called Smart Reframe, which will pretty much do this automatically and also give you really great options like motion tracking as well to keep things in the center. However, that is only available on the paid version, the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. So what I'm showing you here is in the free version. So the first and easiest way to do this is you'll basically go up here to your project settings. So you go to file and then go to your project settings and all you have to do is change the resolution. So right now this is a 1080p or 19 by 20 1080 video. So in order to do vertical video, you would do the opposite of that. So it's 1080 by 1920 and it says save. And now it's gone ahead and changed the overall format of the resolution. So that's one way. And then another way is to basically make a duplicate of this. So basically you want to keep your widescreen version, but you also want to have a vertical video version. So let's go ahead and go back to our project settings and I'll go ahead and change this back to 1920 by 1080. And all we're going to do is make sure our timeline is chosen and then you right click on your mouse and then you'll go ahead and duplicate your timeline. So now we have a timeline copy make sure you double click on it. And now we are on our new timeline. You can see the check mark there. And here you could go ahead and rename this. Just go ahead and double click on this. And I'll just call this vertical video. Okay, so now you have your vertical video. And the next you're gonna do is right click on the timeline, go to timelines, and then go to timeline settings. And what's important here is you wanna uncheck this news project settings. So now it's not using the default project settings that you have for your entire project. Now you can actually adjust the resolution and we'll do the same thing like we did earlier, 1080 by 1920. And we'll go ahead and save that. All right, so now we have our vertical video. So as you can see here, you pretty much have your vertical video, but I think for most people that actually wanted to fill the entire video resolution. So the easiest way to do that is you would basically choose your clip, go up here to your inspector. If you don't see your inspector, make sure that it's visible by clicking that. And here you could simply zoom in. Go ahead and zoom in. And then you could also reposition things right here. And there is your vertical video. And that is super easy. So this works really well if you just have like a stationary video like this, where you're not moving anywhere. But if you actually have one that's in motion, it's gonna be pretty difficult to do that because you're gonna to have to do this manually. And as I stated earlier, DaVinci Resolve does have a paid feature called Smart Reframe, which uses AI to track things. But there's definitely ways that you could actually adjust this if you wanted to, but it's gonna take more manual work. So that's the first way you could do it. All you have to do is adjust this transform settings, zoom and position, and there you go. You now have your vertical video from your widescreen video. So that's the first way in which you can do that. And then other ways you could do that, say for example, you wanted to keep this whole widescreen image, but you want to fill these background. So one way you could do it is you could just add like a background color. So if I wanted to do that, I would basically go to my video project timeline right here and right click on my mouse and I'm going to add tracks and I'm going to add a track below it. Okay. So below first track, I'll add tracks. And now if I just wanted to add like a colored background, I could go here to uh, generators. And then there's this thing called solid color. I could just drop it right here. Okay. And then when I look at this, you could actually adjust the color. So right now it has no color. Let's just say I wanted to add red. All right. And then you could extend this as well. Now we have our colored background for our video. So if you watch this, you know, you're able to add some color to it to fill in the background. You can also add text or many other things. And since this is another track below it, you can add another video or image if you wanted to. And so you could definitely have a lot of fun doing this. Set up your business easily and legally with incredibly affordable rakes at Inkfile. Join more than 500,000 businesses and launch your business today. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so another option that you have is you could basically use your own video in the background, except it's going to be zoomed in. And so you kind of have like your main video, but also another version of your video behind it. And a lot of people do this as well. So the way we can do that is I'm going to go ahead and turn that one off. We'll go back to our original video. 
select the clip and then you're going to come down here to open effects and the effects you want to look for is blanking fill you could do search for it or you could actually just scroll down and you'll find it down here here it is it's blanking fill and we'll go ahead and put this on top of our clip and as you can see we now have another version of our video below it and it kind of looks weird because you have to make some adjustments and so the first thing you want to do is go here to your effects and then fill extent there is stretch timeline which looks weird and there's also zoom the timeline manual and warp top layer and the one we want to choose is zoom the timeline and it is zoom that in and you could definitely make adjustments here and I'll talk about that here in a little bit but if you do manual you can adjust things manually as well but I find that it doesn't work quite as well uh, instead of just using the zoom to timeline there's also work top layer as well but we'll just stick with zoom to timeline and in this case you can make adjustments here and it affect the video in the background so as you see there you could blur it there's also fade as well and there's a fade color there's also other options like drop shadow and global blend but to make things easy i just use this portion right here the fill appearance settings and then if you notice your main video it doesn't actually cover the entire width of the vertical video and the way in which you change that is to go here to source and then you have these options you can zoom so that actually zoom the background as well but what you want to do is use the crop left and right see so there's a crop right there but if you bring it down to the bottom there is no more crop and now it fills the entire screen you could also crop top and bottom as well if you wanted to and so that is it on how you would actually create a vertical video from a widescreen video and as you can see it is pretty easy to do all you have to do is change your resolution settings and just add a few effects or generators and there you go so if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this be sure to leave it in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my davinci resolve tutorials and tips i do have an entire playlist i'll leave that in the description area below so as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.